Yo, what is good YouTube? I am Richie Kim and today I'm going to be bringing you all the performance review on the Adidas BYW Level X Pharrell Williams. Before we get started, if you all like sneaker reviews and other sneaker related videos, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. But anyways, let's get right into it. As always, starting off with the traction, the Adidas BYW Level X Pharrell Williams, forgive me, that's a really long name, but the shoe features a herringbone traction pattern up in the forefoot and a heat wave like traction pattern in the heel. At first, I thought the traction was really, really good. The stopping power was amazing and had a really good bite, especially up in the forefoot. In the heel, not so much. I mean, traction was there, it just wasn't as good as the forefoot. But as time goes on, the more you play in the shoe, for me, the traction just kind of like degraded. It wasn't to the point where I was just slipping constantly over and over, but definitely slips were occasional. And I don't know, for some reason, I guess it's just like the rubber compound they decided to use on this, but the traction wasn't amazing after hours and hours of play. And in the heel, you definitely notice some deterioration of the rubber in the heel because the rubber is just so soft and the lines are just super thin, but you know, it is to be expected, I guess, with that kind of soft rubber. Overall, traction was just okay. It, like I said, it was good at first, but then it just kind of degraded. So for me, traction, I'm gonna have to give the shoe maybe like an eight out of 10. So moving on to the cushion, this shoe does feature boost, but I can't say it's full length boost because as you can see, the middle part of the shoe is missing, but you know, it is boost. In the forefoot, you have boost and it's very low to the ground. It's definitely fully caged both on the medial side and the lateral side. So you get that nice, super responsive cushion setup without sacrificing too much impact protection. And in the heel, you get this fully uncaged boost and it's really, really thick, very bouncy. And it was definitely weird to play in at first because the boost in the heel is like significantly higher than the boost in the forefoot and because one is fully caged and one is fully uncaged the cushion setup seems a little unbalanced super springy in the heel not springy at all in the forefoot but after a little bit of time you do get used to the cushion setup and it does feel really really nice i'm definitely not going to complain it just takes a little bit of time to get used to but the cushion in this shoe is freaking amazing for cushion i'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. moving on to the materials the shoe features a full prime knit upper and the prime knit feels amazing on foot but the material is a little bit too stretchy in my opinion so the material although you know is very nice quality wise for performance basketball i wouldn't say it's the best implementation it's a little too stretchy and doesn't offer the best containment Strictly for material usage on this shoe, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Moving on to fit, this is an extremely good fitting shoe. Gives you a nice one-to-one -one fit, especially because of like how the prime knit is implemented on the shoe. Definitely true to size. I think if you guys are wide footers, you can still go true to size. It was perfectly fine for me. I didn't have like any pain at all going true to size and I'm a slightly wide footer. So overall, fit really, really nice in this shoe have no complaints there fit on the shoe is a 9.5 out of 10 so moving on to support this is where the shoe I guess you could say fails the support in the shoe is definitely not there so I know this model is actually called the BYW level X which led me to believe that this is a combination between the performance model BYW and the lifestyle BYW and it definitely feels that way because the materials, although they're nice, does not offer the containment needed to play basketball in. It's kind of weird because like the bottom half, you can feel that it's supposed to, you know, play basketball. Like it's supposed to be made to play basketball in. And you have the support features there, like on the forefoot side, this actually rises up above the footbed. So you're actually encased in the footbed. So your foot doesn't slide over the footbed. And on the medial side, they had this huge TPU plate that's supposed to encase your foot on the medial side. And even in the heel, like in the heel in general, you're like kind of sitting in the boost. As far as heel slippage goes, I didn't have any heel slippage, but my foot was definitely sliding around on the footbed a lot. Just because, you know, 
although this bottom half is supposed to be supportive it just can't do that much because the materials just didn't offer that much containment also in the heel area even though i didn't have any heel slippage there is no like real heel support there's not even really much of a heel counter it's just like a piece of like kind of like suede-ish material on the inside that's just there i believe for like maybe some support and comfort but it's very collapsible there's like no heel counter at all so i could definitely see that this is the upper of a lifestyle byw it's kind of a bummer but the support just wasn't there in the shoe for support i'm gonna have to give this a 6 out of 10. so the pharrell byw level x retails for 250 dollars and these things sold out instantly so you're gonna have to pay resale if you want to pick up a pair even though resale really isn't that bad right now but still it's a very pricey shoe even at retail price so in terms of would I recommend these for basketball definitely not it's a really really nice shoe but the support features aren't there and it was actually kind of scary at some points to play in the shoe if you want to pick up a pair of these for like casual use I say you know go for it it's gonna do that just fine but for basketball I would highly recommend against it but I'm not gonna lie like aesthetically I think this is a dope looking shoe so for lifestyle I definitely like go for it like you guys won't be disappointed that's pretty much it for this review if you all like this video do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below and also smash that thumbs up button for me as it really does help me out while you guys are at it check out this video on my left and on my right leave a comment down below with a shoe that you want me to review and i may consider it and that's pretty much it until next time peace